hard to remember as we're debating about where the cost of oil is, is that in 2003 when we went to war, the cost of oil was $23 a barrel. And uh, futures market, which looked into the future, looked at supply and demand going forward, anticipated that it would remain around $23 a barrel. But of course, once we went to war, the major source of anticipated source of, of energy was the Middle East. We created a lot of uh, uh, havoc in the Middle East, and the price of oil started rising from $23 a barrel on up. Well, why was that important for our macroeconomy? Well, America was spending uh, huge amounts of money, more than $100 billion, extra on importing oil. Well, money that was being spent to import oil was money that was not available to generate strength jobs inside the American economy. And it that would have meant that the American economy would have been weak. We would have had unemployment. But the Fed responded. It didn't respond in an intelligent way, but it responded by lowering interest rates, stripping away regulation, and creating a bubble. And it worked for a while. <laughs> so that housing bubble led to uh, consumption, uh, a consumption boom, savings rate in the United States went down to zero. It was clearly not sustainable. Uh, the result of that was a, a, a real risk to the economy that when the bubble would break, the economy would go into a deep economic downturn. And that's exactly uh, what has happened. So the, the crisis in some, the, the, the war in some fundamental way is in part responsible for the crisis, for the downturn that we're in, and it's responsible in a second way because the budget constraints resulting from the high deficits and the high debt are forcing us, uh, the public discussion, to austerity. And rather than having the, what economists call the counter-cyclical policies that would avoid the economy, we're contracting. And people don't realize that while there's a lot of discussion about austerity, we've already begun it. There are one million fewer public employees in the United States than there were before the crisis. So rather than government offsetting the weakness in the private sector, government is amplifying the weaknesses in the public sector.